Okay, so here I am. I am playing the unreleased GoldenEye 007 game that was for the Xbox 360, but I'm actually playing that right over here on an Xbox One Series S. So check out this video to learn how you can do the same exact thing starting right now. Hey, what's up everybody? Michael Crump here. I know I typically cover PlayStation only related news, but I had to jump on this project, which is a Xbox 360 emulator that just came out for UWP and UWP stands for Universal Windows Platform. It's used in the Windows 11, Windows 10 apps, as well as it is used in the Xbox One Series S and X, as well as I believe the original Xbox dashboard for applications. Now, what makes this significant is, is that you're now able to run Xbox 360 games on Xbox One Series S or X hardware, which is quite a feat if you were to ask me. So scrolling down through the page here, if we go into the quick start page, what we can see is there's a bunch of different requirements of running this typically for a computer. Now, in order to get this to run on an actual console itself, well, there were some instructions in here, but there is a much easier way to get that to running. What has happened is, is that typically, Microsoft doesn't allow these sort of emulators to be added to their stores. But if you are a developer, you can add stuff to the store, but make it just hidden. And that's exactly what somebody has already done here today. So if you have an Xbox One Series S or X, and it is on the retail stock, well, you can take advantage of this. If you are going to be running these games, they can't be in the format that they are shipped with. Basically, they can't be an ISO image. They have to follow this XEX file extension, which is again, just a file format that was developed for the Microsoft Xbox 360. And it really stands for Xbox executable. Now that will come in very handy in case you find other images out there. Just note that you will need to put them back in XEX format. Now there's a bunch of different ways to do that. I'm not gonna cover that in this video here. I may leave a link to a site where you can use to do that. So with that being said, let's just jump over to the Xbox One and get this emulator installed. Okay, so over on your Xbox, and by the way, this Xbox is not in dev mode. This is just a standard running the very latest version of the system software that Microsoft releases. So what you would need to do from here is you just need to go to Microsoft Edge. Now I was just in Microsoft Edge, so I was able to find it very quickly. Obviously, if you don't know where it's at, you can go over to my games and apps, and then you should be able to see a pin of Internet Explorer or Microsoft Edge. Once you get there, you'll just need to come up to this URL right here, and we're going to go to tinyurl.com slash 3mtv5vhr. Press done here, and it will say that this site is trying to open the Microsoft Store. Obviously, you want to allow it to do that, so I'm going to press open. There it is. So it is free. You obviously don't need to have a system that's already running developer mode. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to press get here and got it. That is the hidden link from where Xenio is currently at in the Microsoft Store. And so now we're just going to go ahead and we're going to let this download and then we're going to try to run a game. Okay, so now that it has been installed, let's just go ahead and let's run that here. Out of the box, I don't think there is a lot of options, at least with the graphical user interface. Okay, so it did pop up down there at the bottom that there was a storage device that was just added in. So let's go to the USB drive. Okay, so there is a couple of the different games. We will just try maybe one of these right here. Let's try NCAA 2K14. Now, again, these have to be in the format where you have 
a XEX or Xbox executable. So here is one, and this one is the default .xex. You don't see the extensions inside of the emulator, but let's just go ahead and let's try running an Xbox 360 game. That's really amazing <laughs> that NCAA 14 is running. Okay, now it was a little slow, obviously, coming into it, but this is just one game that I'm trying, and this is super early stages. As we could see that, you know, just the repo was just updated, but this is obviously an Xbox 360 game running on an Xbox One Series S with really no real configuration. So I'm pretty impressed. Let's see how well the game actually plays though. Now I can see right off the bat, some of the text is not loading in just so well right there. I don't know what that is supposed to say, something trainer. We can also see over here, this one is supposed to be calling one button mode, which the U is missing. But again, this is a super early beta, which is really awesome. So let's just go ahead and I'll get into a game and I'll resume from there. Okay, you can definitely see some artifacts that isn't working so well in here. But again, this is still just amazing that this was able to run. Look at the field. The field's kind of all black there. Let's see what the gameplay looks like. <laughs> Oh, wow, that is so awesome. So yeah, it looks like NCAA may not be the game that we would want to try this out with. Okay, so now I'm gonna give a splatter house a quick go here. Okay, <laughs> there is definitely splatter house. If you haven't tried this game, it is absolutely worth playing. So no save games were found. I don't know if this emulator supports saving. Maybe it does. It did say saving content and it didn't error out. That is very interesting that you can save games through this emulator. So these cutscenes actually look like they're playing at the regular speed. So this one seems like it's working quite a bit better. Okay, so here it is. Now this is a pretty intensive game for the most part. There is a lot that's kind of happening on the screen because this is kind of like a bloodbath type of game. Uh, it is very slow and it is very stuttering, probably around five, six frames a second, if that. And okay, since everybody has been asking, let's go to the unreleased GoldenEye. So it's actually in this folder called Bean and there is the default .xex. So we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna run that. And here it is, which is really awesome. So a lot of you have saw me playing this on my RGH3 Xbox 360 when all of the news was coming out about this game. A bunch of people mad about the existing ports that folks got for the Switch and for the Xbox One. But here it is, the actual Xbox Live Arcade version for the 360 that wasn't released playing on a retail Xbox One Series S. So we'll go and we'll select a mission. We'll go to the first one here and we'll go start. Wow. So see, this looks so much better than those lousy ports that came out for the Xbox and the Switch. It appears like the game does run pretty well. I gotta get used to these controls here. But yeah, there is the game. I was gonna say there's typically, I think, somebody up here too. Yeah, this is amazing, amazing, amazing to start having this. And again, this is at the very early stages. I cannot stress that enough. Okay, so that is going to do it for this one. I will see you on the next one, Michael. Ow!